excited. Alright. So today's the day. I'm getting the coral in the quarantine tank across into the main display. Yes, hello, Belle. Seriously? How's my water, dude? Yes. Hello, yeah, no, go away. Thank you. And in doing so, I'm making sure there's no pests on any of the pieces. So that involves getting rid of a bit of this crap. It is the main reason that I got a bandsaw to frag stuff up. Yes, it's fun. But I wanted to make sure there wasn't crap in the rubble attached to coral. Easiest way is to frag things up. Things like this maze brain, I'm unsure whether I'm going to put it across. I'm going to scrape away at all this under crap, see what I can get off, see if I can get it to a, comf a place where I'm comfortable in knowing that there's no pests any deeper than that. But I can almost guarantee there's going to be something in here, so that's why I've recorded this piece. I've already done the goniopora. I'm happy with it. Oh, there's like holes. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, there we go. Just chop one in half. Come here, you bastard. There's a bit of a worm. Look at that. How did I know? If, oh, yep. There's another little one. Another little one. If you see little holes and places where they could be hiding, they will be hiding. I think people would be surprised what's up in, in their corals. As we know, I dip every, oh, everything. There's another one. Ugh, I don't want to touch the creepy things. Well, I'll kind of cut that one in half. Now you'll know if it's live living skeleton because it's a lot harder. Oh, this guy is juicing all over my hand. I hit something because it's yellow guts. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. Can you see that? Yep, it's another one. Holy crap! That's five so far. We'll get rid of all this last little. Yeah, all right, birds. Calm down. Yeah, y'all. Another thing that quarantine's good for, guys. It gives you a bit of time to actually get things done. Like, I am considering leaving a few pieces in that quarantine tank. And who cares if they have to stay in there for another six weeks, because at the end of the day, you've still got corals in a tank. It's not like... It's not <laughs> like I care, really, what pieces are where. I still have a quarantine tank. It's still going to be running, so... If I'm questioning a bit, and thinking that it might even have anything on it, it will be staying in the quarantine tank. But so far, the Goniopora, this one, I'm pretty happy with. The torch coral, I was going to cut up, but decided against that. I'll put it into the tank just as it is. Um, all the ACAM frags are already done. Check out the size of that bloody sponge. It's huge. I'm doing my coral, baby, so I can go get more. So what do you do if the part you want doesn't exist? You modify shit until it works. I only had 6.35 mil blades available for this guy. So I modified it. It may or may not have been one of the dodgiest things I've ever taken place in. But we got the job done. And hopefully this helps us with the coral. I've tried a previously previous one. We got it down to 4.55 and she popped. So that's about as far as I'm willing to go with this one.
Uh, looks like a bomb's headed in here. We've got cords and we've got hoses, filters on the sides, water on the table everywhere. And this is why. Not the worst problem to have. Not enough space for all the frags in one bucket. So we needed. No, hang on, two wasn't enough either. That's the brain in there because he sent out sweepers, so he had to go in his own one. We're getting ready to just give these guys a quick dip. And I've got this new oh, Brightwell Aquatics Coral Medic. So give them a dip in iodine and also maybe in that, give it a go. We have some new pieces over here. Uh, try, I thought I'd try my hand at Acros one more time. And an Akan Ekanada or Enchilada or something. Makes me hungry. Hmm, enchiladas. But check back soon. Jesus looking bare in there. Good times. This little asshole. I just wanted to go pick up a snail from right there. Because obviously I need to put the snails and him in the tank before I dip all this coral. And the asshole had a dig at my hand. He bit me right here and shocked the absolute crap out of me. So we're gonna... Hey! Dead set! Seriously, just again. You keep biting me, mate, and you see where it gets you. I suppose he probably feels a little bit backed into a corner. I've had my tank hand, had my tank in the hand plenty of times, and he's never been phased by it, so hopefully he doesn't become a biter. He's going into his home. Let's see how he likes it. There you go, buddy. Hey, swing this way. Yeah, he's off. I appreciate that you're a little bit freaked out, but he's chilling. So we finally have pieces in the tank. We've got cut up fovea, brain, torch. Um, there's some stuff. There was a chalice there before. Where's the chalice? Oh, he's done a we tried to do a backflip unsuccessfully, so we're gonna have to rescue him. Torch looking good. Couple of frags. And Mr. Rainbow Hammer. And we have more frags. Yeah. As I said earlier, not the worst problem to have. Sorry, yeah, glass is putrid. Just gave the tank a clean. Coals around there somewhere. He's picking on the algae. Having a good time. Got a little makeshift top on. Yes, I realise there's a gap. But, hell, I don't want to have this guy jump out. Although tanks don't seem to be too much of jumpers, uh, touch wood. We have a very, very empty looking tank over here. As I said, that a can a crow left the original brain and the Monty cap. And there's some Leptosaurus still there. I'm mean Cyphastria. Bloody hell. We also got another Trochus. And somewhere, uh, there's one in the corner, there's some one somewhere else. We've got two Nessaria snails. Got to top this tank up still. And yeah, actually, where's the Gunny Apora? Oh yeah, there's a the Gunny. Still not looking the happiest, but we'll, we'll see. Yes, we have to flip this guy. Come grab some new coral from Reef Secrets in Burley.
Why do I do this to myself? I haven't even cleaned up after yesterday. And already have a bunch of new stuff. What have we got up in there? Uh, let's keep it a secret. You'll see in a minute. These guys dripping at a couple of drips a second. And, oh, apart from this one, which fell out. We just won't mention that, but at this rate, again, we're going to be draining the quarantine tank almost, acclimating these guys. Check back, I'll get these guys in. Actually, we'll get them dipped first, because you all should know, you got to dip your coral. Dip them. Get the bugs and pests, as much as you can, off. It doesn't make sense not to. It's like $20 a bottle, and that bottle will last you a year. Dip. Look at all the fun stuff in there floating around we've acquired. And that's what dipping will get off. We've got a snail. Some form of little crab. Might be an acro crab. He came on one of the acros. We have a couple of bristle stars. And there's a bunch of pods in there as well. Oh, no, dipping's not worth it. So this is what we ended up with. We got a bird's nest acro, another acan colony, another acan colony. We got it's kind of yeah, it's a pretty cool skull. He's got kind of orange around the edge, but he's mainly green. We've got that red scully back there, well, he's red-orange. This guy is a purple tip green base torch. He's pretty damn cool once he gets open. We've got, I'm pretty sure these are a type of A-can as well. We've got the red one there and then this orange guy, he's a bit different again, but yeah, now the quarantine tank's full. Check back in a couple of hours and we'll see how we're going. Two hours later, everything's looking a fair bit more open, a fair bit more adjusted. Acans, love these scullies, they're pretty cool. This guy, he's just amazing. Once you actually see 
the green mouse on him. He's yeah, he's awesome. Acans. Everyone settled in nice and well. Yeah, Nasaria snail. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I've noticed a lot of my views are coming from unsubscribed people. Weirdly enough. So thank you again. Hope you enjoyed. Last week has cost me a few hundred dollars. So I won't be buying corals for a little bit yet. But we've got to let these guys settle in first. Hope you're all doing well guys. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.